What's going on everybody? James Paul Shepard from Filmcore Digital and today we're going to be doing the lightning effect from Thor Ragnarok like this. Let's get into it. Alright, so this is going to be a quick and easy tutorial today. And if you want to use the same lightning that I'm using, click the link in the description below. It's from a great YouTuber, Grant Cook, over at Film Learning. Definitely go check out his channel. He makes awesome after effects tutorials but today we're doing this in davinci resolve so now that you have your footage in and you have your all your lightning assets what you want to do is you want to right click head up to new fusion clip and let's head over to fusion so now that we're in fusion the first thing we're going to do is we're going to track the eyes so what you want to do is shift space type in tracker if you've never used the tracker before this little box right here moves it around so we're going to position that in front of the eye and then you can resize it and this is the search area so we're going to bring that down all right so we've got that one over the first eye make sure your inspector is open and then we're going to add another tracker we're going to do the exact same thing here we're going to bring this over Resize it down, search area down. Now that we've got those both selected, we are going to hit track forward. So now that that is tracked, we're going to head over to operations. We're going to select match move. Now we're going to duplicate this track by control C, control V. Track one, go ahead and select that. You want to make sure track one is selected. And track two, track two is selected. So now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and rename it F2. You don't have to rename it. It just keeps it organized. We're going to call this one left eye. Select this one. And we're going to rename it right eye. All right, so now... What you want to do is grab a background. We're going to plug it right into the left eye. Grab your polygon tool. And we're just going to mask in the eye. Go ahead and change the background to white. Give it a feather. So we're going to soft edge it a little bit. You can spend more time detailing this uh, mask, but for the tutorial, I'm just going to rush through this. All right, we're going to do the same thing with the right eye. So you grab a background. And we're going to grab a polygon. Just going to do a quick mask. Feather that. Change your background to white. Go ahead and play that through, should be tracking. All right, so now what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and grab a soft glow. And we're gonna go ahead and add that in this one. Let's go ahead and copy that, add it into this one. You can play around with the glow settings, um, with the color settings. All that is gonna be preference to your video. So now what we're going to do is we're going to keyframe the uh, transform of the glow coming on. So you want to go a couple frames in where you want it to start. Where you want it to start glowing. We'll go about 18. So you want to click and key your levels on both polygons. And then go back a few frames and then drop the levels down. There we go. So we've got the eyes done. I like to group these together. And then we'll rename this eyes. Like I said, you don't have to rename them. I just like to keep it organized. 
because this time this node tree will get large. All right, so now for the lightning, you want to find where you want your first lightning to come in at. How about right there? Let's go ahead and grab one, bring it in. We're going to merge it. We're going to add a transform node. So what you want to do is you want to click on your media and then see what frame you're on. We're on frame 19, so you want to come over to your hold first frame and change that to 19. Now with your transform selected, you can scroll through a little bit to see what that lightning does. So this one we're going to just resize a little bit, rotate it. Now with all these lightnings, you can make them look completely different by rotating, um, changing the aspect, the size, and everything. So we're going to go ahead and put this one right on my shoulder. With the media selected, shift space, color corrector, and then shift space again, soft glow. Now again, these can be per preference of what you want it to look like. You can play around with the color correction. You can change it to any color you want, whatever you're lightning. And then your glow, again, you can change it however you want it to look. So now, with those two, what I like to do is I like to copy those two nodes and put them off over here to the side. So now we're gonna bring in the little hot spots where the lightning's hitting. And that's going to be, if you downloaded the same uh, assets that I'm using, it's gonna be the flare. You're bringing your flare, we're gonna merge that in. On the merge node, you want to change it to screen. We're going to add a transform again. And then on my footage, I like it size 0.1. But again, it would be based on whatever your footage is. And again, with these, because we're going to be multiplying this numerous times, depending on how much lightning you want in your footage, I like to copy this, paste this, and put it over here out of the way. So I have that as well. So now we can just paste, bring it in, and we have our second one. All right, so now we're going to keyframe these in. We're going to start with the lightning. You want to click on the transform node. Go back to right when it disappeared right there, and then you're going to keyframe size and then go back one frame and go to zero so now with the first hotspot transform selected you want to be in the same spot that your lightning comes in size keyframe the size go back one and then drop that to zero now you want to move forward to right when the lightning hits the next hotspot. You want to be on your next transform. Click keyframe there. Go back one and drop it to zero. So now you have your first lightning. Now we're going to make it go away. All right. So you want to go to right when... It disappears and then go back two frames on your first hotspot you want to keyframe go forward one and drop it down to zero and then from that same spot you want to keyframe move forward one drop it down so now it comes in and goes out. And that's basically it. You just keep repeating those steps and moving them around to where you want them on your uh, footage. So we're going to do one more to show you again. 
So you want to find a lightning. Let's grab number two. Bring it in. Copy your color corrector. And then copy your soft glow. So now you have your lightning all set up. Click on the media and then find out where you want it to come in. So this one came in and is leaving right there. So we want this next one to come in, say 23. So on your media, hold, you wanna do 23. Play forward so you can see what that footage does. Now this is going the other way. And if you wanna switch it around, what you can do is you go to the transform node that we forgot to put in this one. But make sure you put a transform node in. So what you can do on this node is flip it and reverse it. So now it's coming in from the other direction. So we're gonna have this one go straight across right here. So you wanna see where it first does that, go back a frame. Keyframe size, and then go back and then zero. So now what you do is you want to copy, because you already have these over here ready to go. Just highlight those, copy, paste, hold shift, drop it in the line, and then you've got your first hotspot. So we're going to drop that right there. Actually, let's move that over a little bit. And then you just paste again. Drop it in, and you've got your next one. And then we just repeat the steps as we did to the previous lightning. So you want to make sure you're on your transform where that starts at right there. Go to your first hotspot node, keyframe, go back one, drop to zero. And then go forward to where it hits your next hotspot. Click keyframe, go back one, drop to zero. Now this one, as you can see, moves. So what you want to do is you want to keyframe your positioning, your X and Y on the center, and then Go forward a frame, move it, go forward, and just keep moving it with where it fits. And then you can see it's doing the same thing on the other node. So just our other hotspot. So we're going to go forward, move it. Just keep moving it. So this one has to go a couple more times. All right. So now we're going to do the removal. So we go to where it disappears, go back two frames, first hotspot, keyframe. Move forward one, drop it to zero. In that position you just left, go to keyframe on your next hotspot, go forward one, drop to zero. So now we have two lightning bolts. All right, and that's how you do it. So you just keep repeating those steps and putting them all over in different positions, changing the aspects and size, and you've got the effect. And that's how you do the lightning effect from Thor Ragnarok. And if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing. And I want to thank everybody that has taken the time to check out the channel and check out these videos, especially our Patreon members who are Dustin Clark, Carl Robbins, Little Thrusty, Bobby Sarah Venera, Danny Galwin, Vicky Ingblom, Leslie Murphy, and Angela Kay. I appreciate all the support that you guys have given us. And if you want to be a Patreon member as well, check out the link in the description. We've got three tiers to choose from. 
And for $1 a month, you get these videos a little earlier than everybody else. Thank you all again, and remember, keep creating.